Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Maddie and today we're going to learn how to draw an inspiring poster for Women's Day. International Women's Day is a global holiday celebrating the cultural and political achievements of women. On the 8th of March, artists from all around the world create and share illustrations, design and photos to promote gender equality and women's rights. When you make an illustration for such an occasion, here's a checklist of the most important things you should consider when you're drawing. Diversity. Make sure you represent as many different types of people as you can, with different skin tones and hairstyles. Inclusion. Show different cultures through fashion, colors and accessories. And positivity. You want to use the power of art to send a positive message. This is a great opportunity to create an incredible illustration celebrating women. And on that note, let's dive in! Let's start by creating the body of the first character. We are designing a pose where all three women are interlocking their arms, forming a sort of chain of characters. Also, keep in mind that we want the pose to be replicated easily. So I'm using the pen tool to create the shape of the head and the body. Make sure you create the left arm on a separate layer, because we will need to overlap this onto another character later. Once the shape of the body is done, I keep the pen tool at hand and draw the face details. For this illustration, we will keep things simple and use shapes and lines to draw the expression of the characters. For example, you can draw a simple almond shape for the eye and then use the mask function to insert the iris inside that shape, just like we did in our character design series. Time to work on her outfit. For the first character, I will design a simple turtleneck paired with dark trousers. I've decided to stick to a limited color palette, focusing on earthy tones and accents of blue, but you can really express your fashion sense and add more colors and patterns to your artwork. It's all about enjoying and trusting your creative process. Keep working with the pen tool to design her hairstyle. I like to sketch out the shape of the hair with simple points, then double tap on the nodes to make smooth curves. And just like that we have a blonde ponytail with a nice bow.
Now that we completed the first character, we can duplicate it and move it along the chain. With very simple edits, you can adjust their appearance to create an entirely different person. So by changing her skin tone, her hairstyle and clothes, we have now created a completely different character. Follow these simple steps as many times as you need to create as many characters as you like. Here I am going to create only three, but don't let that stop you. During this process, the no tool and color picker are going to be your best friends. Now, let's focus on the slogan. I wanted to add a powerful message to this design to accompany my characters. We can use the text tool to add our message in the top section of the poster. To me, supporting each other and fighting for equality is a group effort, so I picked the phrase, together we can. You can pick any sentence you'd like, as long as it is a nice and positive message that can inspire you, your family and friends and everyone else that's the beauty of art. I chose the font Coaching from the inspector and I set the font to around 250 points, then selected Bold Italic. Since I'd like to give a bit more movement to the composition, I tilt the text box following an invisible diagonal line. For the text color, I've decided to split the sentence in two and use both Coral and Cream. This way, the slogan will be as big and as important as the illustration, but without overpowering the composition. Using the same colors from the characters, I can add some stars and sparkles to the background to connect the slogan to the illustration. And voila, the job is done! We made it! Together we created a lovely inspiring poster for Women's Day. You can export the illustration and share it with everyone on social media. Don't forget to tag me and Vector Nator so we can see it. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more tutorials like this, remember to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the Vectornator channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!